Hello, and welcome back to Belmont Bunch today, where I am in the parking lot 30 minutes after the game and still haven't moved. So I'm going to have a quick parking lot rant, uh, and that is that uh, the Emerald Lot is a freaking nightmare. It's good that everybody has to go out through the same way and there's no like ulterior exit or anything. That's really good. So I really enjoy sitting in traffic, not even in traffic, sitting in the parking lot with people now getting out of their cars in the middle going, what the hell is going on? Why can't I get out of the parking lot in Emerald? I don't know. I don't know. We're all just sitting here. I've moved probably, I don't know, like a hundred yards in like half hour. So that's good. Um, anyway, I guess I'll talk about the game now. I was there, obviously. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be back, so I'll probably be at the next Islander game, just stuck in the parking lot. I'll buy, t buy tickets online or something. But um, the Isles, uh, it's funny to say they played well when they gave the worst team in the league their 10th win of the year in, you know, the 40-something game. But um, I actually thought they skated well um, and that it was kind of that classic just unable to finish thing. Hold on. <laughs> uh, really unable to finish it all today. They were, uh, they had chances, plenty of chances they created for themselves. Um, and just, I don't know. It's kind of a perfect summary of the whole season in that way. Uh, so not great. Um, Sorokin played pretty well. Uh, the first goal was kind of fluky because of not just the deflection, but the puck basically getting completely caught up and this guy named Pizzetti or Pizzetta or something. Um, and it goes in. And then the Islanders, uh, they do get it back. Uh, Paul Mary got one on the power play. The Islanders had a five on three. That did, the power play was not great today, despite getting a goal. Um, just really hesitant to shoot today, the Isles. Um, and the goal came from just getting the puck to the net and getting a rebound. So you can't really do that unless... You get the puck to the net. That's step one. Um, some good things. Bellows looked good getting pucks to the net. Like I said, uh, he he skated pretty well. I thought he was good. Um, Adam Pellick in overtime had an incredible uh, effort to stop what could have been a breakaway and a game-winning goal for the Canadians. Uh, so great stuff there. Um, the second goal was kind of a defensive breakdown for the Isles uh, where Josh Anderson was just allowed all the time in the world to line up a shot. Uh, completely just unmarked on the back post. So that's not great. And I haven't had a chance to look at the replay because the stadium doesn't show replays and I'm stuck in a parking lot. So uh, maybe I'll get back to that. Maybe I'll put that out on Twitter and say what happened there. But um, this is a fucking nightmare. I am, I mean, you guys can tell, you guys can see there's no motion. There is no motion. I'm looking, I'm keeping track of this black car, like four cars ahead of me and it hasn't moved. Uh, so that's not assuring. And I can't imagine what it's like to be one of the people all the way back in the parking lot because I'm, I am in, I can at least see the exit. I'm nowhere near it, but I can see it. Anyway, um, what else was I going to say? Um, sucks. Uh, just embarrassing to lose to Montreal, but Montreal uh, looks like a team carrying a lot less weight on its shoulders now with a new coach. That coach trusted uh, Cole Caulfield in the shootout and in to start OT. Uh, it was an overtime that wasn't good for the Islanders. The Islanders uh, gave the puck away a lot. Didn't that failed in transition a few times on times where I thought they could have pressed and they didn't. Um, but getting back to maybe something that that Barry can take out of this game is you know Marty St. Louis um, letting his young guys. Uh, go let, letting them get ice time letting them play letting them develop and um you know, Cole, Cole, Carf, uh, Cole, Cole Carfield uh Cole Caulfield uh played pretty well and I was I was pretty impressed uh he should have scored on the first power play Montreal had um and Sorokin generally was pretty good today which is nice look at guys we're moving and that's all you get anyway um so yeah uh generally it's really difficult to pin down because uh, oh, uh, Chara played again. Um, uh, once he gets to that whatever mark of how many games he has to play to get most games played as a defenseman, uh, I'd like him out. It, he um, He's just so slow. I, it's nothing I haven't said before, but um, I'm terrified when he has the puck and time because that time decreases very quickly because he stands in place. Anyway, 
I'm going to end this video before I get in a car accident. And if I do, I'll let you know on Twitter. So that's it from Belmont Bunch. Uh, goodbye.